The post-practice water break is presented by Crown Royal. Stay hydrated, stay royal, and please drink responsibly. J.P. Shadrick with Tyson Campbell, Jaguars cornerback, three tackles a week ago, three passes defensed, including your first career interception. Uh, take us through the interception. You came off your man, you went back and undercut the route. Go through it. Well, uh, we just playing cover two, uh, doing, my, doing my job, uh, making sure I reroute uh, the receiver that was in front of me. And uh, make sure I get width and depth uh, for any you know outbreaking or deep outbreaking routes, so I can buy save time for the half safety to get over top. Man, you know I saw ball and I got ball. So. Yeah, and it's got to be a great feeling, right? I mean, that's something you look forward to. You're drafted. Oh, when am I going to get my first interception? You nearly had two of them in the game, though. <laughs> right. You finally get that first one. What did you do with the ball? Did you take it to the house with you? Yeah, I took it home. Uh, you know the, the equipment guys, you know you know wrote the date. Um, wrote interception my jersey number on it so it was pretty special you know got to do it in front of the home crowd and in front of my family but you know wish we came out with, with the win though you know early in the season there were a couple of balls that you know were kind of past you over your head you had been with the man and then it, it felt like as the season has gone on that's improved for you your your ball skills when the ball's in the air and, and Urban Meyer earlier this week said that something you've been working on on the practice field what have you done to improve uh, with the ball in the air as the season has gone on? Uh, I'm staying with the course. Uh, just doing extra stuff at the practice. Uh, you know, watching film and trying to make find little things I can get better at. You know? So I think you know that over time, staying consistent with that, uh, it's just led to better results. And um, Having faith in myself, um, having faith in God, and just you know, trusting it. And that's something that, I mean, it's a never-ending process, right? You can always find something to get better at, even if you're in year five, year ten, year fifteen. There's always something to craft, right? Right, always. You know, and and then playing through some pain too. You banged up your shoulder, AC joint, I guess, last week, battling through, playing hurt. Uh, how much of that is above the shoulders, a mindset to just battle through and be out there for your team? Yeah, I, I think it's all mental. Uh, I think at the end of the day, you'll know in your mind if you can go or not. Uh, if you could push through the pain. Um, and then, you know, once you're on the field and the journey against pumping, uh, you, you kind of forget about the pain a little bit, you know, until you get dinged up or hit on it. Then your body will remind you. But other than that, yeah, it's all mental. Um, you know, how, you just got to want it. Tyson, there are six games left in your rookie season. What do you want to accomplish personally on the field? And then secondly, as a team, what else does this defense need to get done? Uh, you know, personally, I just wanted to just keep making plays and just contribute to helping this team uh, win some games and just help us finish off this season, you know, on the right note uh, so we can come in and roll in next year. Um, but as a defense, of course, you know, we always want to, you know, set the tone uh, physically, uh, dominate, you know, the opponent and um, make get forced turnovers. And, um, you know, that's the main focus. You want to do forced turnovers and uh, win third downs to get off the field to, to give the offense the ball so they can score some points. Quick thought about this week's matchup against the L.A. Rams. They have some uh, outstanding receivers on the other side. Cooper Cup leading the league in a bunch of areas. Um, you know, obviously Odell Beckham is on that team now. They've got uh, guys that can – they can run around and do some things on offense. Do you, you have to look forward to a challenge like that. Every week's a challenge in the NFL. But when you're lining up against a team that can be as talented as the Rams, you know, I'm sure you're excited about this matchup. Yeah, of course. Um, we're excited every week. Uh, this offense, uh, an explosive offense, uh, been playing well this season. You know, so we're excited for the challenge. Uh, preparing well, doing what we got to do um, in the film room and on the field to make sure we, we got prepared. So I think it's going to be fun. Tyson, it is My Cause, My Cleats Week. You are representing the National Urban League. Why is that cause close to you? Um, I just feel like, uh, you know, in this world, in this nation, you know, there's it's a lot of inequality going on. Uh, so I just want to just get the, you know, recognition out and attention out, you know, about, you know, the African-American community or the minority community uh, just not having the equality um, and the, the fair resources uh, that everyone else has, whether it be, you know, education or jobs or kids getting, you know, laptops for school and things of that nature. So, you know, I felt like that was, you know, something that meant a lot to me.
They're good-looking cleats, that's for sure, and we'll look forward to seeing them on your feet this coming weekend in Los Angeles. And, hey, thanks for the time, and congratulations on the recent success, and keep it up down the stretch. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you.